Hey, I wanted to go over a few things you could do to troubleshoot if your flute is sounding funny. Uh, if you are brand new to playing your flute, uh, there's a few very common problems that just about everybody is going to have right at first, and I want to show you how to deal with those. Uh, the first most common problem is not covering the fingering holes all the way. This happens to everybody when they first start playing their flute. Um, you, you should be able to fairly comfortably reach the fingering holes on your flute. If it feels really uncomfortable on your hands, you might need to consider getting a smaller key. Um, it doesn't matter whether you put your right or left hand on the top or the bottom. You do whatever feels the most natural to you. Um, and before you start playing your flute, just make sure that the block is positioned. Uh, you can watch the, the video on our website on how to position the block properly. Uh, we want it to be square with the, the front, end, front edge of that hole so that it can blow air across it. That can make your flute sound quite funny if that's not on there, right? So, uh, with all holes covered, blow into your flute. If that note sounds more like like that, that means you're not covering the holes all the way. Uh, it might also jump up. I don't know if I can get it to do that. I'll see. There's air leaking out of a fingering hole. So rock your fingers back and forth, wiggle them around. You want to play with the flat part of your fingers like this as opposed to pointing your fingers down and try to get those holes really securely covered. When you're covering the holes the proper way, you'll get little dimples on your fingers. So practice until you're covering them all the way. Look in a mirror if you have trouble or have somebody uh, like your partner or your friend come and actually look at your fingers and say, oh, that one's leaking, that one's leaking. This is really hard for a lot of people to get the lowest note. So once you uh, work with that for a little while, you should start to be able to get that low note and you can start fooling around with the scale. So to play a pentatonic minor scale, we're gonna lift fingers up from the bottom and go up the scale. Uh, leads me to the next most common thing that happens when people uh, first get their flute or when they're playing one of our flutes um, and they have never played one of our flutes before. You need to blow harder on the upper notes. If you are a little bit timid or if you're not experienced with um, playing a native flute or if you're used to playing flutes from another flute maker, you might not blow hard enough on these upper notes. And that can really make the flute sound pretty bad. So I'm gonna demonstrate what it sounds like if I don't blow hard enough as I go up the scale. So it's really out of tune sounding. It can be really squeaky. It can sound breathy or raspy on those upper notes or on all the notes, depending on how softly you're blowing. So as you go up the scale, you want to increase the amount of air that you're blowing. And what I would recommend doing is if you're having that problem, just sit there and blow harder and harder and harder and harder until your flute sounds good. Uh, this can take a little bit of time to figure out, but once you get it, it it's second nature. So you can kind of start out by blowing softly. This is what a lot of people do when they first start playing their flute. Those are the two most common things that people do when they first pick up a flute and they write to me right away and they say, there's something wrong with my flute. It's squeaking and it's making all these funny noises. But actually, it's just a little bit of, uh, a little bit of learning and a little bit of patience and you'll figure that out. 
Um, the next the next thing that I would check if your food is is you're doing all those things and your food is still making funny noises, um, I would check the block. I would check to make sure that that is that, that is tied on there correctly and that there hasn't you don't have like a piece of lint or fur sometimes like a little piece of you know if you have pets a little piece of cat hair or dog hair might get stuck in there that would definitely make your flute sound pretty funny and if you've done all of those things and your flute is still making no bad noises then email me and i can usually get get it fixed for you right away if not uh you can return it and we'll we'll tweak on it and see what's wrong with it um if another note if you have been playing your flute for a really long time and like in one session and it starts to make really bad noises or lose its voice uh it's watering out and you need to shake the moisture out of it which is um a you know, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just take the block off and you're actually gonna shake your flute and water is, condensation is gonna come flinging out of the mouth end and then you're gonna dry it off and dry the block off and then it should uh, be playable after that. So those are all things that can cause your flute to sound funny. I hope this is a helpful video. Thanks.